Hey everybody, No Guts No Glory here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. We're doing pretty good. Today is Friday. The hubby's not here again. So we're going to go ahead and do some videos and take advantage of this time. <clears throat> we're supposed to be getting some nasty weather here, so I don't know if we're going to be able to go out with mom tomorrow on Saturday. I may have to call her and tell her, you know, we're going to have to play it by ear. So we'll just see how that goes. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on around here. I'm wearing that lipstick eggplant, the color eggplant that I got off of Shop Miss A. I love the way it smells. It's very moisturizing. It's not sticky. I'm liking it. So there you go. I'm coming to you with a, re with a couple of reviews to start with and then a video, another video about some prepping ideas that you guys have requested. So with that said, um, I got a couple of people who wanted to know about those headbands that I had bought. <clears throat> the ones that say absolutely no slippage, uh, yada, yada, yada. They were great. They're from Walmart. Come two to a package. I'm wearing one of them. This is the other one. I love it. I really, really do. It works great. There must be a wire or something inside this plastic because look how you can you can shape this to your head. Like like and for me, for my instance, you know, I have a big fat head, so I could stretch it like this. See how? And then it'll stay like that. See how it stretches and stretches, and you can make it smaller. It's it's great. And then the inside here along the lining, there's like a rubber in here that that's what stops the slippage now once you get it on your head like I did mine I held the two points here and I pushed in on my temple area here so that I can form it to my head so that it would stay perfectly now I know it's not holding the hair up very well right here that's because I've got some uh, one of those little flyaways they call them that just won't you know they're between that length that just won't fit in a headband yet so yeah they're flyaways but anyway other than that i love these these are my review on the headbands yes very comfortable and they don't slip and you like i said you can conform it to your head okay another request that i had gotten was on the keyboard that i had bought from holler this is the keyboard here it's very easy to use and if someone like myself who's not very savvy in all these electronic things although I love all electronic stuff all the weird stuff and things like that that you see me hauling by I love it and I like to learn about it I guess that's the curiosity about it too is that I I like the challenge so got this for my pad okay and some wanted to know if it's worth the 10 bucks it is it's very easy to use it takes uh two triple eight batteries that you have to put in the back here over here and then there's an on off switch whoops here and then there's a little button you push for connection to connect this to your device whether it be your phone or whether it be your ipad now what you need to do for your iPad, I'm gonna go here and show you, is I went to my settings, okay? Once you get to your settings, go to your Bluetooth, and then you're going to hit to search down at the bottom for it to search for whatever Bluetooth devices happen to be nearby. So you have to turn this on in order for it to search for it, and it did and it found it and here it is here the keyboard as you can see right there and then when you find the keyboard you press it up will come some numbers and those are some like a like a code or a pin and you type those numbers in on here and hit enter once you put the numbers in and hit enter they connect and then it becomes blue where you can see it's connected okay very simple to show you how that it works I'm gonna go to Facebook all right and 
let's see. Just find something here. This little video first came up. I'm going to hit comment and I'm going to comment on it. All right. Up comes my regular keyboard, as you can see, but I'm going to type in on this one. Now I cannot hold it in. Well, I can try hold it with one hand so you can see and type with the other. So you're going to see me, my letters coming up there. I'm just going to put LOL. See how it says LOL. And I didn't use this keyboard that's here on my pad. I used the one that's down below and I'm going to continue to write and I'll write, uh, funny F U N N Y. See how it says LOL funny. All right. Then you hit enter on the keyboard and there you go. It is now there and there you go. It's, it's on there. All right. So now we go back, we see the video again, and my comment is on there. It's very easy to use, guys. I love it. Now I can stand my iPad up on something that'll hold it up, and I don't have to look. I guess this, what I like about this for someone like myself, as I get older, my eyesight is getting poor. And my dick skinners are getting harder to use on these little teeny tiny pads that they give. You know, I choose one letter and it decides it wants to choose another because my dick skinner was so fat it hit two letters in one. Yeah, so, <laughs> hence the keyboard. Now I can just type, hit enter on my keyboard. Yeah, and I can roll on. So there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me go ahead and turn this off. So there's my review on that. Love it, worth 10 bucks. All right, now let's go ahead and get started on to what this video is supposed to be about. This video is going to be just a brief synopsis of everyone's wanted to know what would, what do you put in a bug out bag, okay? Like my husband has stated before in a previous video, we don't plan on bugging out. We plan on hunkering in and staying and guarding what we have with and protecting our property and stuff. Yes. <clears throat> with what? That's our business. <laughs> Just don't come around and you will find out. <laughs> anyway, so the only way we would plan on obviously bugging out is if it was a tornado, you know, and it's going to take our house away, um, a terrible, terrible, some kind of terrible, absolutely positively horrible type of <clears throat> natural disaster. Otherwise, we will stay here. So it's always good to have a bug out bag ready so that if you did have to leave for some reason or another, they were evacuating your whole area, they gave you no choice and you had to go, then you can grab up that bag and at least you would have some things. Now, everybody's bag is different, okay? You put what you need in your bag for you and your family, okay? Don't take what I say written in stone. It's not. It's just a helpful, just a helpful video to help you think of a few things. Now, I may not cover everything, like I said, because some things that I would put in my bug out bag, you won't put in yours. And then suggestions that you tell me to put in my bug out bag won't pertain to me and I won't put it in. So just saying, everyone's different. <clears throat> so with that said, these are some suggestions and some of the things we would put in our bug out bag. Now the size of the bag depends on the size of the family and it, it depends on your priorities of what you want to put in your bag. So you can have a little bitty duck, a little bitty nap, you know, what do they call it? Backpack, a little bitty backpack, a little bitty purse. If it's just you, you know, you, it depends or all the way up to a suitcase, you know, or a duffel bag, depending on your size of your family. Like I said, and what you want to take with you, what you find near and dear. Um, so we would 
we use the size probably for me and the hubby and thinking about where we would have to go, who we might have to bring a few things to, to help them out. Like if I had to go to my daughter's or if I had to go to a friend, I would want a few things in the bag that are going to not only help us, but would also benefit and help them in case they didn't think of it. Things like that. That's how I think. Okay. One of the first things right away would be water. Okay. We would take a few bottles of water. <clears throat> now we would also take what's called a life straw. We have showed that before in our previous prepping videos. Uh, you can look it up on Amazon. You can look it up on eBay. At the time that we bought them, I think they were $20 a piece. I don't know how much they are now, but it is a straw that you can literally, literally take down to a pond or a dirty puddle outside and literally drink through that straw and it will filter everything out to where it would make it purified for you to drink it. Okay, so we would we have a few of those. So I would bring those so that if we did run out of water, we would have another option of how to get some water. So you can look up the life straws. We do have a playlist with our prepping stuff on it. You can look way back then if you want. I would bring a little bit of a, a little bag of some hard candies. Me being a diabetic, if I had to bug out and wasn't able to grab my insulin right away, I, so my blood sugar would not drop too far, I would bring that. I would also bring it, you know, not just for me, but for the hubster, whatever, you know. Um, canned food. Now, things that are just, you know, right away, small, easy peasy to transfer, like a little can of Vienna sausages, pork and beans, uh, we like, um, oh, what is that stuff called? It's like a pate, you know, the little stuff. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. So some of those, a couple of cans of vegetables, whatever, things like that. Obviously a can opener. <laughs> Dry foods, things like jerky, a bag of jerky, um, crackers, a few cookies, things like that. Medicines, whatever medicines you can get. Now, we'll touch base on that in another video as far as medicines go, but try to put some medicines aside. Or try to remember if they need to be refrigerated like my insulin, try to remember to grab them up or wherever you may have them. Try to remember to grab them up when you've got to bug out. Just make yourself a note, something. A sticky note, slap it on your bug out bag, grab medicines. Whatever things you might not be able to put in at the time, put a sticky note on it. Important documents or some pictures, you know, things like that. Uh, protection, whether it be a knife, whether it be a gun, uh, and don't forget the ammo. <laughs> things like that for protection. Lighters, flashlights, batteries, obviously. Um, one change of clothes, you know, just, you know, something doesn't have to be a whole lot. It doesn't have to be big. It could just be, you know, if you're wearing a pair of jeans when you go to go, you know, maybe to, you can wear those a few times and just a shirt, underwear, <laughs> socks. Uh, let's see. Money, valuables, jewelry, coins, etc. Whatever you, va whatever's valuable. Put it, in, put it in the bug out bag, you know? Or put a note on your bug out bag that where you hit it, you better go get it <laughs> and then take it with you. Just saying. Sometimes you don't have a whole lot of time. You gotta run, run, run. Um, a bar of soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, or, or just little trial sizes of mouthwash. In the trial section over in Walmart, they have a lot of little trial size stuff. Buy a bunch of those little stuff and put them in the bag. Hairbrush, you know. We would bring a deck of cards just to give us something to do wherever it is we got to so we wouldn't go crazy. 
uh, condiments, plastic wear, all those kinds of things. Like when you go to Taco Bell, you know, McDonald's, wherever it is you go, you know how they have everything out there, straws and ketchup and salt and pepper and mustard and forks and spoons and knives and all that stuff. Take a few extra each time you go. Put them in the bug out bag. Just saying. Sewing kit. They sell them. They're small. You know, a little sewing kit. Rope. Everyone's, like I said, you're wondering why I would need the rope. Don't worry about it. And this is my kind of bag, all right? Everyone's different. Napkins, hand towels, you know, those little, you know, Dollar Tree, everybody knows, sells hand sanitizer and all that kind of stuff like that. Little bitty things, you know. Uh, let's see. They, they sell, um, at Dollar Tree, they do sell like these little packages that are emergency hand warmers. Uh, uh, foot warmers they you know it's something about when you crack it or you break it it then generates heat and it lasts for a few hours also Amazon sells them and eBay sells them uh, survival stores sell them military stores sell them uh, things like that MREs you can also get we have a few of those put them in your bug out bag but they sell emergency little blankets that are foil-like, you know. They sell everything in small, compact. All of that kind of stuff can fit in your bag, you know, because you don't know what the elements are going to be, where you're going to get to, you know, rain, snow, hot, heat, cold, whatever. Um, Let's see. I think I pretty much covered most of it. Like I said, I know there's going to be things that I forgot um, and you be creative and think for yourselves as well and uh, do your research just do your research we're here to help you as much as possible but we don't know everything and everything's not written in stone so just be careful of, of what you what you do the sites that you visit things like that Briefly, just real quick on medicine. One, I, I will touch. For medicines, for those who are sick and stuff, and you wonder, how do you get your medicine? I have to use it up all the time. Every time you go to your doctor, just, it doesn't hurt to ask. All they can say is no. Most of my doctors are really nice about it. So everyone to, to each their own, you know, and their doctors and stuff. But every time you go to your doctors, tell them you're almost out. Can you get some samples? Whatever samples they give you, and I'm saying each time you go, ask again, you know, put all those samples away so that when you do an emergency does arise, now you have your medication in a sample form. Uh, antibiotics, as far as antibiotics that are used for, for animals, that are used for fish, do your research and look it up. They use the same, same exact medications that we as humans use. Cephalexin, amoxicillin, ampicillin. All of those are used for animals too. And we as consumers can take them. Not a doctor. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm suggesting that you can look it up. Okay? This is things that we do. So... Anyway, so there are some hints and, you know, and obviously herbs and, and essential oils and the list goes on. Look up things that would help you for your seizures or your diabetes. Cinnamon is good for diabetes. They sell it in capsule form. Um, you know, vinegar, apple cider vinegar is wonderful for a lot of things. Just, just look and you seek and you shall find. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped somebody. All right, remember to always let go, let God. No guts, no glory. God bless you. Bye, guys.